This UCSD TV program is a presentation of University of California Television for educational and non commercial use only. In 2000, Governor Gray Davis led the creation of the California Institutes for Science and Innovation, among them, Cal IT2 a collaboration led by UC San Diego that includes UC Irvine and technology industry partners from around the region. Science, uh, physics, and math is where it's at in this state. These centers of science and innovation will be the portal to the future, and the future is now. So, On the occasion of the 10th anniversary of their creation, the institutes have been rededicated as the Governor Gray Davis Institutes for Science and Innovation. Did Cal IT2 live up to his vision? Did it live up to my vision? It so far exceeded my vision, I am just blown away because there are so many global partners and so many uh, business partners. That was really something I insisted upon. I knew if major corporations had an investment in Cal I IT squared, this institute would be around for decades uh, to improve the quality of life and to serve humanity. Uh, so. Marrying the private sector with the University of California uh, and ensuring that the Institute operated in a highly collaborative fashion. Here we pull together so many different disciplines that we're looking at how will the continued exponential digital revolution in IT and telecom intertwine with the nanotechnology exponentials, the biotechnology exponentials, to literally transform our society and provide solutions to the seemingly intractable challenges that California faces. Every day is a brand new day. You know, it sounds like a cliche, but it is so true here. And we, to some extent, celebrate that, you know? I mean, it's what keeps the place going. Everybody's looking forward to engaging with a bright new idea, bright new people. I see something new every day that I walk around in Cal IT2. We've built a third of a billion pixel tiled walls. We've, we've created three-dimensional virtual reality caves. If you stroll through the building, you'd see an art gallery for digital exploration, uh, go in upstairs, find an Einstein robot that can recognize your emotions, go into what has become the world's most advanced photonics lab, go down a couple of floors into wireless sensor laboratories, I mean, in one building. And so when we look at the facts, we find that we're working with two dozen different departments. People come together around projects, around ideas that are meaningful to them, you know, uh, naturally. And when that happens, there are no boundaries here. So everybody here is a first-class citizen. This is all shared. This means anybody with a great idea, anybody who has an innovation to, to show it, it can actually happen, can go into that lab, make those experiments, and bring into the world something that didn't exist before. A startup can come into our labs here and test things out. They don't need to buy a single piece of equipment. They pay a few hundred dollars an hour and they're done. As a shared incubator for ideas and innovators from across many disciplines within and outside the university, Cal IT2 is transforming technology and the way we use it so we can better address challenges in health, energy, the environment, and culture. Technology has to become invisible. This is always the case. When technology is successful, no one's paying any attention to the technology. You're paying attention to what the technology is helping you relate to. And so this is what we stand poised to do. If you can't do that if your uh, technological platforms are not sufficiently advanced, but we are finally there, I believe. Imagine that you actually literally digitize from satellites, from sensors, and developing essentially a digital California. And now have supercomputers actually simulating the flow of water, the air, and making what ifs. Where will the floods be? Where will the lack of water occur? Where are the fires most likely to occur? These are tools we don't have today. And yet, we're going to have to have them because we can't manage an environment we can't measure, we can't predict. We've got to inject science and evidence-based arguments. And this is what a university like UCSD is perfect for. 
This vision of transforming our uses of technology in the wireless age has already brought Cal IT2 a number of successes in its first 10 years, including the Wizard System and Stroke Dock. Wizard, or Wireless Internet Information System for Medical Response in Disasters, enables the creation of real-time electronic medical records of victims and patients triaged at disaster scenes, and Stroke Dock allows medical experts to provide rapid and accurate diagnosis of stroke victims via wireless internet. As well as revolutionizing communication for first responders and improving outcomes for stroke victims, this technology has created a number of exciting possibilities for the future of telemedicine. So I imagine a USB device that you hook up to a, you know, a PC that is at an internet kiosk, low cost, you don't even have to own one of these things, might be able to do a blood test. You know, a little pinprick, it scans, does all your blood work, and uploads that information. And there is some doctor sitting in some corner of the world, right? who can look at the information and tell you what you need to do. So I think if you think of countries like India and China, where there are billions of people who need health care, uh, I think telemedicine is uh, it's not an esoteric, uh, exotic pursuit. It doesn't matter what country we're in. The telecommunications revolution, together with the digital media revolution, has meant that we're really inhabiting a single room. We're going to have a ability to see the diversity of culture on this planet that humans have never experienced. And my great hope is that what that will do is to provide a new impetus for learning how to live together peacefully, productively, increasing economically the well-being of all people on Earth. If we can simply add to that at Cal IT2 by accelerating some of these telecommunications capabilities, then that alone will have been worth the journey.